So my next one here, we're going to go away from the lighthearted a little bit. Ooh. This one's uh, going to get serious for you. Okay. We're thinking butterfly effect, uh, pebble in the pond, all that. So you get the choice between would you rather have to retire as a Bills fan and you allow the team to have whatever future success they would have or you be a Bills fan your entire life but they never get to win the Super Bowl? Oh, this is easy. I'm so selfish. It's like, no, I, I'm, I, I'd give the team the success. I'd have to do it. It's like kind of like psych. Psych, uh, sacrifice one man for the greater good kind of thing. I'm, I'm willing to be that one guy. I might not be able to be a Bills fan, I guess, forever. I mean, no one's a Bills fan forever, right? You know, ex at least on Earth. <laughs> Existential dread. Uh, right, right. <laughs> At heaven, you just you just get reincarnated with a Bills jersey on. <laughs> I'm back, baby. Hey. Yeah, instead of going through a table, you go up through a table. Like, through. <laughs> just like, oh. we put, we make tables now. I have ascended. Like, <laughs> we're off the rails. Yeah, no, that that's, yeah, I would definitely, uh, I would definitely pick that one instead of not seeing the team succeed. That would be. Uh, I, I was the same, and I, I was looking at it as like, okay. I'll still get to be a fan of football. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll pick a second team or something. And in my head, I'm like watching a Falcons game because I'm a Falcons fan now. And I'm just watching the ESPN ticker like Bills up 28 to 3 at halftime. And I'm like, that's still me being a Bills fan. Right, right. Shoot. You could uh, you could do whatever you want. You could never take my fandom away from me. And it is Absolutely. what it is. So hypotheticals make no sense sometimes. 